Home page. After connecting to the device, if the word Viva Do is listed in the version of micro column, new option called Update Bootloader is created. After activating this option and clicking on the Update Firmware button again, the program will be updated and alert screen will then appear to update the bootloader. It's important to make sure that the power supply to the device is not interrupted before doing so. If the device is shot down while doing this, you can no longer use it and you have to send the device to the company. This takes a long time, about two minutes. Therefore, it is better to do all the steps with a LAN cable. On the alert page, by clicking yes, the bootloader packets are sent to the 7020 micro and updated. After doing this step, the color of this option as well as its name will change from update bootloader to force update bootloader. The force update bootloader option is used when you want to be sure to update the bootloader again. AMT sequencer. If the items related to the step values table are entered in decimal and in milliamperes, because the accuracy of the numbers entered in this table is 1 milliampere, the software will round up those numbers. Saving and retrieving some files would cause an error exception, which has been fixed in the new version. AMT overcurrent. In directional test and in two-phase fault types, the name of the angle field has been changed to angle VLLIF. The angle entered in this case represents the line-by-line -line voltage to the fault current. AMT transducer and meter. When the input meter is on read from binary and in the output, the open loop option is selected. The calculations for the online meter test have been updated. Transformer. In turn ratio and no load tab, the vector group the locations of the V-phase NOM, V-phase ACT, V-SEC MESH and TTR ACT fields have been changed.